I'm often asked the question of how do I convert my negatives into a positive image inside Lightroom without any additional software. You can do this conversion using a number of other apps that you can purchase, but when you're looking at black and white negatives inside Lightroom, it's actually a very simple process. So let's take a look at how that works. Now this works for black and white. Technically it can work for color, but it's a lot more complicated. But for black and white, it's pretty simple. So the first thing we do is we've got our scanned negative we've imported into Lightroom. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the profile to monochrome. Then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to go to the margin or to the uh, border of the uh, the image and just click on anywhere on that border as a as a neutral area just to set the white balance. Okay, that's done. Next, I'm going to crop down the top, down up the bottom, and then the sides just to get rid of the borders. Now you can leave the borders in if, uh, if you're so inclined and you want to include them, but I don't, so I crop them out. And now, at this point, we're going to go all the way down to the tone curve. And uh, in the tone curve, you can see the, uh, the area of uh, light and black on the curve here. So I'm going to grab this spot right here, and I'm going to bring that all the way down, but I'm going to drag it back right to where that curve meets the baseline, maybe just a, just a hair beyond it. And uh, this sets your uh, with your contrast levels. Make sure that your contrast level, your whites and blacks, are within the range for the image. The other side, I'm going to bring up all the way up to the top. And uh, or if uh, if your highlights are uh, are down here around the middle, you could uh, you could stop there. But mine they go right up to the top, so I'm going to slide that slider all the way up. And that sets my uh, uh, my base level for my image. You can play with this curve at all, or just simply at this point, what I would do, I wouldn't start editing in here, because what you'll notice, for example, with exposure, is everything is backwards. So that makes it kind of awkward. So uh, what I would do with that image is I would go File, Export, and I would export it out of uh, Lightroom as a JPEG and I do that with all the images so I'd go through the all of the uh, process all of the images on this film strip export them out as JPEGs and then import them back in into uh, the library again as new images and then you'll have positives and all of your controls will work as normal so that's how you can process negatives inside Lightroom with no additional software.